Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page today here in this book and I've got some pages from a children's book, something I found uh, in the street, someone just threw it and well what can I say, I didn't like the story and I didn't like the illustrations but what I did like is the colors so I figured I can uh, chop it up and make some interesting background so what I'm going to do is take a part of the pages and I'm not uh, going to measure or anything what I'm uh, going for is some rectangles so I will have something to play in collaging and making a background and as you can see not measuring just getting all kinds of uh, measured pieces so I can play with and I want several colors um, and sizes so I'm going to work on it uh, on cutting all these pieces and I think I'm going to uh, uh, divide it to some groups like uh, in terms of darker and lighter color so I will have an easier uh, way to go about it and I don't like the cow here so I, this is going here and this piece is going to be used so basically that's what I'm going to do and pieces that I don't like like if I have got a face that I don't want like the cow or something like that then I'm not going to use it and but basically that's it I will have I think I will have like three groups uh, of color uh, to play with like this and I'm going to try and take out the torn edges and just so you will see what I'm talking about I'm going to cut this because I like these colors but I'm not going to use this not even trying to be <laughs> very uh, straight about the cutting so here it is don't need his face cutting the torn edges and here it is so I'm going to cut a uh, more of that and I think the third group would be for this darker color and then I'll start collaging. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got here all these pieces and I hope I've got enough uh, to work and uh, cover these two uh, pages. And I'm going to try first to, because it's small pieces, I want to try uh, to make the collage with glue stick because these are some glossy paper and I'm I'm uh, afraid to use the white glue uh, it will warp the the paper so I'm going to try the <laughs> using a, a glue stick and if it won't work then I'll switch to a uh, white glue and whatever happen happens and I'm uh, beginning with uh, the outside and with uh, the darker pieces and I'm going to overlap and like this and I really don't uh, care which piece goes uh, where only I, I just want them to be irregular I don't want uh, that the piece that will go next to this will be uh, in the same size so uh, I want interest and again a lot of glue and let's take something else 
so it won't be the same and again more glue and let's go with the square so that's how I'm going to go about it and I really really hope that it will work it's too small this piece so let's take this one and I'm framing the page with the darker pieces and when I'm finished I'm going to go inside and make another with the uh, lighter colors and you of course you don't have to have this kind of book or anything you can use magazines whatever paper and colors that you like I just stumbled upon this one and I thought this would be nice to play around to take it apart and <laughs> assemble it in another way by just using um, the general color of the pieces I hope I'm explaining myself I'm trying because it's not that great of paper I'm trying to go uh, here uh, up to the crease and not uh, over it so it will be easier to deal with and I want the darker colors in my corner so I'm already putting down the corners I'm really hoping that I will have enough pieces to cover next uh, well what can I say the next uh, pieces uh, of color will also overlap this these pieces so I'm not really concerned how uh, it will go So this is going to take a while and I'll just do uh, several more pieces so you will get the hang of what I'm trying to do here and then I'll switch off and get back when we have something to, uh, to work on the next phase. Again, the crease here is the most problem, but we'll manage. So, and I still need here. And I still miss a piece here, but I'll move and do the other, the next phase, and then I will find another dark color to put here so here is the next a uh, color and again overlapping and just gluing it in really doesn't matter maybe I can do this one here Here we go. Mm. 
okay so you get what I'm doing I hope <laughs> and as I said this is going to take me quite a while to cover everything and of course once I will finish with this color I will go to this one and so I'm going to uh, finish this and then I'll come back I'm back and here is my lovely background I'm so so satisfied with what uh, came out of it and now I want to layer on on, uh, on top of it some paper napkins I'm uh, continuing collaging and I am going to take bits and pieces from several nap napkins and build something completely different <laughs> so I've got this paper napkin and I want to take a part of it and I'm just uh, eyeballing it and I'm taking uh, this uh, kind of brush and dipping it with water and I'm taking a piece like this so I won't have uh, hard edges and basically I want this flower and now very very gently I'm going to tear it apart and I've already removed uh, the white layers from this uh, paper napkin moving this aside and I think that maybe I have here another layer here it is okay so here is a pi the piece that I want here and I'm going to use now uh, just white glue and let's see I probably can do it again with glue stick but I think I'll just chance it and use the white glue going to uh, trim the excess later right now I'm just laying uh, my pieces and when everything will be dry then I'm going to trim and I'm using the flat of the brush slide don't drag be very careful with paper napkins this piece is going to add to the whole a colorful thing that I have going on here right now uh, you don't quite see it because uh, it's wet and you need to see the effect when it's dry and so this is one piece that's going uh, here May I'm thinking maybe I will do a mirror image of this uh, same piece over here but right now I'm just going to leave it be I've got this paper napkin very very uh, cheap paper napkin this is uh, from a restaurant and don't even have uh, other uh, layers to it but I thought that this design could uh, be used in this kind of project so I took it <laughs> and we'll see how it works I'm just taking a, a little bit of the excess white that I have going on here and maybe something like that yeah and again I will trim the excess later so right now I'm just putting down the glue and I'm hoping that it will work I'm not sure about it let's see well it seems that it works I was afraid it won't it wouldn't be a 
translucent as the other paper napkins because it's cheap material but I can live with it and if I will have too much white I will just go and add color once it's dry right now I've managed to add this pattern to my page and I will trim a loosely <laughs> and take this part of the napkin and maybe mirror it here kind of hard because it's wet but we'll see just a hint of it yeah again hoping it will blend nicely into the background and now I want butterflies and this paper napkin just call for it I have a lovely white background that means that it will blend nicely and again I'm going to take uh, the brush with water and take out the piece that I want out of the paper napkin let's see I'm thinking like this and maybe I will add more butterflies the color just goes well with what I've done in the background so that's good Again, gently and try work your way from the middle uh, outside if you feel your uh, white glue is too thick just add a little bit of water until it works for you I don't have measurements each uh, white glue has a different consistency and I just operate on what I've got even when I'm uh, buying the same brand it never is in the same consistency and I want my butterflies to fly here so I'm going to take more butterflies out of this paper napkin and collage them so I will have this kind of movement so again, working with a paintbrush and water. Now I'm going to take little pieces of butterflies so it will be easier to um, to direct the movement. <laughs> Best way I can explain what I'm doing. And the paintbrush with the water just fell and I can't see it. Let's take another one and take another butterfly. I love taking a paper napkins, taking them apart and 
basically creating something new new composition and well you just make it your own and now the butterfly I also like it that uh, the paper napkins add a little more texture to the whole thing. I love the wrinkles. Just one more dimension to the whole thing. And I think I need just one more butterfly and that would be it. in terms of the bat butterflies I still want to work on this page and now I'm going to add as I said the same kind of plant that I took and uh, glued here I want to mirror it here but upside down so I'm going to take the same image and let's see part of it I can cut here where I have straight line Okay, and removing uh, another white layer here. Yeah, here it is. So now I want this here. So again, more glue. is now I really need for everything to dry before I attempt anything else so I'll be back when it's dry I'm back so this is dry now I just want to um, extenuate a few <laughs> items here I want to make the border more dark I want my butterflies to pop just a little bit more. I'm using uh, some, uh, this is water reactive a brush, a pen, whatever, I don't know what to call it. And it's from my uh, cheap store. And I'm just going like this around basically the bottom of the butterfly and I'm not trying yet to activate it I'm not sure I want to and I'm more wanting to give it some kind of definition I'm not sure yet we'll see first of all I'll just go around a 
very loosely like this There is no uh, rules to it, I'm just wanting it to pop a little bit more, so I'm adding a little bit around. Each butterfly. Yeah. something like that and now for the edges I've got this again from the cheap store and uh, these are something like gelatos they are some kind of cranes that again react uh, with water so I'm going to just go over the edges and then try to smudge it with a baby wipe go just a little bit more in the corners like I like it let's put it aside and I want to gently uh, smear it without removing it so let's see it seems like it's working Now I'm uh, going to fold it again and going over it a little bit because I do want just a little bit to remove it. I don't want it too intense. And also so I won't have... A so I've got a problem with my phone. It keeps uh, shutting down and I hope <laughs> you see you've seen what I've done uh, up till this uh, point I've just go went around uh, with this uh, water reactive crayon that is like gelato and I am going to try and activate this that is also supposed to be water reactive if it will work good if not then not <laughs> And it doesn't seem like it reacts to the water so I'm just maybe a little bit maybe I'm going to try uh, something else instead of a brush I'm going to take a q-tip with a little bit of water mm, no it doesn't do the job but let's see maybe I can do something else and because I do want some smudging underneath so I'm going to be very careful with this a uh, crayon like so and here it is a little bit of smudging Yeah. Basically, this is it, and I hope I can finish this uh, recording without my phone quitting on me again. And then I really need to check what's going on and why it's quitting on me. Otherwise, I can't do this kind of stuff. not like it's even alerting me that it stops recording ok 
could also probably have used a, a brown eyeliner or something like that to smudge I just wanted the butterflies to pop a little bit more and not to look so flat against the background which I really like So yeah, this is it, that's my page and I hope you liked it and I hope it will give you some ideas to play with any kind of papers to make a beautiful background. And this is it, thank you for watching, thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.